Hi guys, I'm just doing my video for my YouTube tutorial. Thanks for joining. Today is Wednesday. Today I'm going to do this product. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be the one doing it. I'm not. <laughs> Hi YouTube friends, it's Ashley. Thanks so much again for joining me. It is Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. Hope everyone's had a great day. Okay, so today we have a perfect palette tag and I was tagged by Dawn, D. Lopez Girl 83 She's here on YouTube, so thank you so much for tagging me to do this. I am a total makeup junkie in general, but palettes I am equally as guilty as hoarding. So hopefully I can show you guys some good Let's go. Okay, the first question or the first suggestion is what is the best packaging? Okay, I have a couple here. First one has got to go to this cutie cute cute one, Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. Super cute. Can you see? It's like shimmery. It's like Christmas. Right? It's cute. Matches my nails. Yep. Okay, next one Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Slim, sleek. Do you hear that? It's hard. <laughs> it's good. And it has a locking closure. So whether or not you're traveling or just needing to store this without damaging it, this is perfection. Okay. Um, I guess I can just throw this one in there too. Kat Von D. Mi Vida Loca palette. It's pretty cute. Okay. Question number two. The best color payoff. Now I'll open this and show you guys how beauty miss she is. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? Ugh, I love this one. Okay, so we're just gonna do some quick swatches here so you can get my drift. Look there. That's like awkward swatch. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so nice. Everything Too Faced does is just perfect, but that one's really, really nice. Um, and then the next one I have is Lorac Pro. Can't hold it. This is so, so nice. This is one of my Holy Grail palettes, but we'll talk about that later. But talk about smooth like butter, right? I mean, the first top row is matte, and then the second row is shimmer. And usually with mattes, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I find that they're super difficult to blend. Sometimes they can be really dry and chalky, but not with these. These are like butter. And I'll swatch a couple here. Ugh, I'm like the worst swatcher in the world. Can you see? No, I don't even know where I'm pointing. Hello. Anywhere. <laughs> okay, so that one is there. I need a wipe. Okay, so question number three. The most versatile palette that you have. Okay, I have a couple. And one is a cute little mini, perfect for on the go. And it's super basic. It's got six, oh, basic. It's called the Naked Basics palette. And it's got six shades. Five are matte, one is shimmery. Can you see that? Lighting is super bright. But I just love this. I mean, I use this on the daily basis, and I use it to blend out any eye look I'm doing. Anything. Love. Second, I got to talk about her, the Naked Original Palette. Just, I went to town on this thing the first six months I had it. I mean, proof is in the dent right there. I love this. This is so... Perfect for anyone, anybody's needs. This is great. Perfect neutral palette. You guys probably already have it. Okay, number four, best for travel. This one again. Mm hmm Yep. Color, neutrals, mattes, shimmers, glitter, perfect, love, love, love. This one, yep, because it's small and cute, and I have to use it every single day. Another one that I really like is my NARS and God Created the Woman palette. I'm actually... What's on my eyes today? I really, really love this. Just rediscovering it, actually. This is still available. This is, if it is limited edition, I'm not real sure, but it's still available. Super beautiful colors. Shimmery, darks. You do have some glittery shades, but I must say they do not translate whatsoever on the eyes. I mean, I don't have any visible glitter, just some shimmer, which I love. And it's very comparable size with the Naked Basic, so it will save room in your travel bag. Okay, number five, my biggest regret. Oh, I hate to say this, but I have quite a few, and unfortunately, um, I guess it happens if you don't always do your research with things. So let's get cracking. 
first one is the NYX Dark Shadows palette. I saw this movie and was absolutely in love with it. So I thought, hey, you know, I'll, I'll get the palette to go with it. No, honey. I don't even, I mean, come on. Like, every single shade of top is glittery. And then you have, like, mattes down here. These are chalky, chunky, Fallout City. Pigmentation is crap. Blah. And then these, I didn't even touch the blushes with the highlighter. I think I dipped my finger into one of the lip colors. No. Mm -mm, girl. And I think I spent like $30 on this. What? Oh, no. No, ma'am. And I usually love NYX, too. So, I mean, I hate saying that. But anyway. Okay, so the next palette is from Urban Decay. And I really love Urban Decay. But this one just... Ugh, awful. So, I mean, this is like glitter to the like millionth power and these shades like there's like zero pigmentation just fall out it's awful I think those are the old formulations anyway so nope and then I really this kills me this pains me it's by makeup forever it's called their wild and chic eyeshadow palette this was limited edition at Sephora I think last year or the year before so why do I still have it you ask I don't know but anyway here are the colors I mean, they look all right. I mean, I don't know. Camera's probably washing them out. There you go. There's their colors. They look really, really pretty, but let's just talk about how there's like zero color payoff, and they're really, really chalky and dusty. Even the Aqua Eyes, the liner that came in this was dry, and it tugged at my lower lash line. Oh, no. Shoot. No, thank you. And that was like $40 or $50, so huge regret. Okay. Um, Number six, best color names. Absolutely, without a doubt. And here's why. Dainty, charming, girly, totally fetch, Miss Sparkles, ringleader, gangsta, instigator, badass, and jailbird. Yo, that freaking takes the cake, right? I mean, nothing, nothing is better than that. It's freaking awesome. You go, Two-Faced. You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> um, another one with good names is... And the next palette... Um, with the best names is by Sigma. It's the Sigma Paris palette. This one was limited edition, but if you got your hands on it, I mean, it is such a beautiful palette. Yes, it looks like Glitter City, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. They don't really translate, but it's just beautiful. They're so buttre and gorgeous, but the names are all French and Paris inspired. So you have Eiffel, Seine, Louvre, Orsay, Elysee, Notre Dame, Triomphe, Versailles, Lumiere, Peche, and Rouge. Girl, put yourself a beret on, get you a croissant. Wee oui, wee, oui. yes, ma'am. Okay, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so now number seven, my least used palettes. So besides the one that are poo poo and you know I can't stand and I regret, um, the least used, the first one. I mean, this kind of makes sense too because it's kind of a special palette. It's the Makeup Forever, the twelve color flash palette. I think this retails for like a hundred dollars or so on Sephora site or in store. This is just beautiful. They're all cream shadows and they're really meant for like, you know, the makeup artist, the freelance makeup artist. So whether or not you're doing special effects or theater or something. I've used this on a few brides actually just for lip mix and um, for specialized eyeliner. It's really beautiful. So I just, I don't use this as much as I should and it's a shame, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, another one is this Smashbox palette that I mentioned before with the cute packaging. I just don't use this one as much. I don't know why I don't re reach for it, but I just don't, so I need to. Another one that I don't reach for as much is by NYX, their 10 color eyeshadow palette, the Runway Collection. This one is in Strike Pose. Really, really pretty colors. And this, this is a palette where NYX really did it right. The payoff's really beautiful, and the colors are buttery and smooth. I like it. I just don't really reach for it. Another thing I don't <laughs> are all of my MAC palettes. Um, these are all custom made. You guys probably already know how MAC does it. But anyways, I just have a bunch of different colors. This is my blue-green palette. I just don't reach for my MAC shadows that much anymore, unless they're like in little quads or something, um, or my single shadows. I'm not real sure, but probably... Because I have to, because I work for Laura Mercy and I just, her shadows are gorgeous. Um, but anyway, I just don't reach for those as much. Anyway, so number eight, most use, most love, Holy Grail Desert Island palette. I have two. You know I was going to say this, I bet. 
Um, it is the Naked Basics palette because I cannot go anywhere or do any eye look without this bad boy because I love him. And then my other one would have to be the Rock Pro. So if there was a fire or if we're going on a desert island, just come on with us, girl. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the very end, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Eat lots of good food. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>